Teaching accessibility, including accessibility in your courses. Technology companies want their products to appeal to a wide audience, including people with disabilities. Universities need to teach about accessibility in their computing courses to meet workforce needs. I'm Richard Ladner, professor in computer science and engineering at the University of Washington. Any course where um, the thing you're doing is designing or building software that people are going to use, you should consider the widest variety of people that are possibly going to use it. Is the person going to use it have a disability? And if so, does your software actually work for them? Or is it disabling? Products that are accessibly designed can also help users who experience situational disabilities. Even people without a disability can be temporarily impaired. If you're in a noisy environment, you might like to have captions. You know, you're in a bar, sports bar, or something like that, and uh, everybody's cheering, and you want to say what the, what the announcers are saying? Well, you can read it. My name is Andrew Coe, and I'm an associate professor at the Information School at the University of Washington. One of the things that we've done recently is run a, a national survey across the United States of computer science and in information science faculty. And we reached out to um, several thousand uh, faculty across the nation and found that most of them are actually very eager to teach accessibility, but they don't know how it fits in with computing and they don't know how it fits in with the specific classes that they teach. I taught a lecture in a computer vision class about how to make images accessible because Computer vision is understanding images. And how would you make an image understandable to somebody who's blind? So that's the conversion of, of a visual image to a tactile image. So I did a whole lecture on that. One of the first things that students learn in our web development class is about HTML and HTML tags. And why not teach HTML um, through an accessibility lens rather than just teaching HTML um, in general. And that actually was a win for everybody because it meant that this fairly dry topic that most students were excited about turned into this really interesting topic about a population of people who um, are uh, blind and interacting with computers through screen readers. And so students get to experience that while learning this basic foundational material. And so they enjoyed it more. The instructors enjoyed it more, and accessibility was part of that curriculum. To learn more about teaching accessibility, consult uw.edu slash access computing. This video was supported by National Science Foundation, grant number CNS-1539179. Any opinions, findings, and conclusions or recommendations expressed in this video are those of the authors and do not necessarily reflect the views of the National Science Foundation. Copyright 2019, University of Washington. Permission is granted to copy these materials for educational, non-commercial purposes, provided the source is acknowledged.